what is up guys we're back with more doki doki literature club plus last we had our, we finished our poems and then we had to do another poem for today so with that being said uh let's get into it another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already i've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days entering the club room this usual scene greets me ah hi yo sayori Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just still not used to being in you being in the club. That's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood, you know. But I guess it's always the simple things with you, anyways. Ah, speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy you a snack? Uh, no. Eh, that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Ah! Ah! Why? Why that all of a sudden? Uh, no reason really. I just wanted to look at it. Ah! Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets it co and lets its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. Ah, that's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and wanted to excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so I would lend you some. But there's only one thing. You're always hungry, Sayori. And so, that only leaves, me, <laughs> that only leaves one option. Ah! I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Ah! I didn't notice. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't notice she was listening in. Her face is in her book as always. Ah, I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri, tell him to let me borrow some money. That's, don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can reasonably afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Uh, uh, did I just... I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed into my book. Ugh. Ah, I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think like that. You're right, though. I did something bad now to set the revolution. Retribution. That! Still, coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. Ah, ah. You wouldn't have come in and one for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori right in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Blah! Yeah, kya! Ow. That, what was... Eh? A cookie! Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sari glances around. Is, is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution. Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just going to give it to you, but then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> Natsuki! That's so nice of you. 
I'm so happy. Sari hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sari rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. Mm, so good. Mm. Sari cl suddenly claps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. <laughs> You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah! Yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah? Why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Say Sayori gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki. Then wraps her arms around her. Ah, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie's still in hand. Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off her. Um. Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. Hey! Did you seriously just do that? <laughs> Mouthful Sayori trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're just a you're such a kid sometimes. Monica! Can you tell Sayori? Eh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Ugh. Where's Monica anyways? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Ah, not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. Hmm, that's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course, she's okay. She's probably just had something to do. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? <sighs> you don't think she... She has a... Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Eh, <laughs> that's true. Excuse me? Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh. Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. But boyfriend What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzily glances at me. Ah, uh, never mind that. What held you up anyways? Ah, well my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kinda just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music at all, Monica. Ah! I, re I don't really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. Ah, that's so cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Uh... Monica looks to me. Maybe one day, a little bit better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case... I won't let you down, Logan. Monica swa smiles sweetly. Ah, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Ah, don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I really love the chance to share once. I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I chose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapades. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Logan! Logan! Sayori su suddenly comes up to me. I'm going to go get some supplies from another classroom. Want to come with me? 
Supplies? What for? Well, you know how the festival is coming up? Me and Monica were gonna make some posters and stuff. So I need to go find some crayons and markers and glue sticks. Ah, I see. Sure, I'll go with you. Yay! Okay, Monica, we'll be back soon. Ah, are you going with Logan to get the supplies? There's no need to trouble yourself. I'll be happy to go with him. Ah, but I wanted to go. It's so much fun exploring empty classrooms and stuff. <laughs> okay, okay. I was, it was just a suggestion. See if you can find poster papers too, okay? Okay! Ready, Logan? Yeah, let's go. Sayori and I exit the club room. I follow behind as Sayori hums and skips around the hallway. Honestly, it feels like I'm talking to a kid to the... Feels like I'm taking a kid to the mall or something. Sayori finds pleasure in the simplest things sometimes. Hey Sayori, what exactly are we doing for the festival anyways? I'm not sure you would make an event out of literature. <laughs> Me and Monica have it all planned out. Don't worry. Is that so? Yep! We're gonna do a poetry performance. A performance? Of what kind? Well, everyone is gonna take turns on stage and recite their favorite poems. Ah, that sounds kind of dull. Oh, Ian, you're not thinking about it right. But, but, ah, you're not thinking about it the right way at all. It's not just reading poems. It's about performing them. Like, you say the lines of a poem like, Between my feet, the last remaining flower beckons to me. I twist the stem, freeing it from its clinging roots. Caressing the final joyous moments between my fingers. But to what ends I summon this joy? For now, when I look in every direction, the once prosperous field before me is but a barren wasteland! What? <laughs> Sorry, so, so cool. Like that! Yeah! Sorry. How do I put this? I'm sure it's just me, but it's impossible for me to take you seriously when you talk like that. Yeah, you meanie. I'm working super hard on this, you know. I know, I know. It's just... Oh. Ah, don't say that. I'm sorry for cutting you off. But I guess that means I'm doing a good job. Yeah, I guess so. Ah, I'm so excited. That festival is going to be so much fun. Sorry, spins herself around in the hallway again. Hey, Logan. This classroom over here is empty. Let's begin the mission. The mission? Eh? It's been a long time since I spent time with Sayori like this. But in the end, she hasn't changed one bit. She's nothing but a ball of sunshine. Drawing happy vibes from the world around her. It's a pretty nostalgic feeling for me. As the years went by, I began to hold myself up in my room more and more. So going adventuring with Sayara brings about a special sort of feeling I forgot I had in me. The two of us entered the classroom. Sayari heads straight to the closet, and I follow. Let's see what we have in here. Crayons! Sayari pulls a box full of crayons off the shelf. They're the best brand, too. They're kind of dirty, though. Sari starts pulling various crayons out of the box, reading the color names. Alright, that's one down. Don't get distracted, Sayori. We still need to find... Wait! I'm looking for my favorite color! Ugh, fine, fine. Then at least move aside so I can look for the poster paper. Ah! I dropped one by accident! Ah! Yeah! Sayori bends over and smacks her forehead right into the shelf. She falls onto the floor and the crayons spill all over her lap. Ow! You okay? My forehead! Sari <laughs> Sari closes her forehead. Gee, Sayori. That's just like you, isn't it? Come on, let me see. 
Since they are already sitting on the floor, I grabbed her by the waist and pulled her out of the closet. You have to move your hand, Sayori. But it hurts! Just do it for a second! Sayori slowly releases her hands from her forehead. I gently brush her banks to the side. Ow! Sorry. There's a huge red mark on the center of her forehead. A bump is starting to form as well. Man, that's gonna swell up. I should find you some ice. Logan! Where would I even find ice around this time? I guess a cold drink would do. You don't have to. I'm fine with looking like a unicorn. <laughs> even rinsing from the pain, Sari makes a silly joke. Ah, uh, what are you saying? I'll be right back, okay? Okay! That's Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder and run out of the hallway. I locate the nearest vending machine. What should I get? Doesn't really matter since it'll be used as an ice pack rather than to drink. But I know Sayori likes apple juice, so I purchase that one. In just a moment, I already, I'm already returning to the classroom where I left Sayori. She has one palm on her forehead and is using the other one to clumsily scoop crayons back into the box. At least they were already in the wrong spots before I spilled them. Sayori, here. I hand Sayori the bottle of apple juice. It's nice and cold. Sayori opens the cap and starts drinking from it. Sorry, what are you doing? It's for your forehead, idiot. Ah! Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> How hard did you hit your head? Sayori places the bottle against the bump on her head. It stings! Just bear with it. It'll feel better soon. It looks like you cleaned most of the crayons, so that's good. Hey, Logan! This kind of reminds me of us growing up, doesn't it? Uh, what do you mean? You know how we used to play outside all the time. You would always try to keep- I would always try to keep up with you. You are kind of oblivious some ways. Like... Like, I usually fell behind or had trouble climbing on the things you did. But sometimes when I tried to do things, I couldn't. I would always hurt myself. I'd fall and scrape myself or get a bump. And I would always start crying really hard. <laughs> and you would uh, rush over as quick as you could. And you would try really hard to get me from stop crying. It was almost like you blamed yourself and were afraid of getting in trouble if someone found out. Even though it really wasn't your fault at all, you know? Did I really do that? Yeah. You don't remember? Come to think of it, maybe I do remember a bit. I guess I was always so focused on my games that I didn't pay enough attention to you. So in a way, it was my fault. I kind of like this this time too. If I wasn't rushing you out of the closet, you probably wouldn't have hit your head. Logan, I don't really think you realize it, but you're always thinking about other people. Even after all these years, you're rushing to help me even though I'm just being clumsy. You're really a sweetheart. Don't call me that. Come on, man. I don't really do this kind of thing all the time. I guess when it comes to you, it just feels natural. Before I even know it, I'm treating you like that. I guess that's what happens when you've been friends for so long. Really? Maybe you're right. Logan, I'm so glad that nothing's changed between us. Do you think it'll be like this forever? Forever? If I'm honest to myself, there's no telling where we'll end up for college or after that. So it wouldn't be fair to me to make any promises. But, well, I hope so. It's been lo this long already, right? I can't imagine you ever changing, so my hopes are up. I'm so happy. Sayori has a whimsical expression in her eyes. We remain silent for a moment. She's so silly and clumsy on the outside that when I see her deep in thought like this, it makes me not want to disturb her. I guess we should go back. I don't want to worry, Monica, you know? Good luck with that. <laughs> She's going to see your forehead either way. 
Not if I hide under my bangs. Sari hops to her feet. Ah! She clutches her forehead again. Don't stand up so fast after hurting yourself. What the heck? Man? Ooh! Well, I guess it's too late now. Anyway, let's go. I follow Sayori out of the classroom. Sayori plays with her bangs to try to hide the bump, but without much success. In a moment, we make it back to the club room. Ah, you're back. Oh, ah, you're back. Good timing. I was about to ready. I was just about ready to start with the sharing our poems. Oh my goodness. Good timing. I was just about ready to start with our sharing our poems. Eh, Sarah, your forehead. She's fine. Don't worry about it. I was playing with the crayons and smacked my forehead <laughs> into the shelf. Uh, well, anyways. Were you able to find everything we needed? Ah, uh, I have it right. Ah, uh, 